Even as ICC prosecutor Luis Moreno Ocampo talks tough on the court's commitment to try at least four to six post-election violence suspects before the end of this year, the process leading to the Hague trials now faces even more hurdles. Businessman Joseph Gadungu has filed a constitutional reference at the Mombasa High Court, arguing that the new constitution does not allow the ICC to probe the Kenyan post polls chaos. Gadungo is represented by lawyer Gikandi Ngibwini, wants the court to issue an order that all investigations into the post polls chaos be carried out only by relevant organs of the government. The businessman wants the ICC locked out of the Kenyan investigations, saying that the ICC is neither a court nor a tribunal that has been established by or under the Kenyan constitution, promulgated on the 27th of August this year. Justice Jack Ogwang certified the matter as urgent and the case will be heard on the 27th of October. The issue of whether the suspects should be tried by the ICC came back to the fore following Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo's statement suggesting that Kenya may not need the ICC to handle the post-election violence cases as the local judiciary could competently handle the cases under the new constitutional dispensation. Information Minister Samuel Pogisio defended Mutula's statement, even as the minister was criticized by some of his colleagues, including Fisheries Minister Amazon Kingi and Sports Minister Paul Otwoma, who said Mutula had not consulted the cabinet before issuing his statement. The minister said that there is a cabinet subcommittee tasked with working on the government's position on ICC matters. People are now wondering what is the gov what has happened to the uh, government commitment. We can now not again go back to the old habits whereby because you hold a certain position in society, then you can bend the rules of society to suit your momentarily needs without knowing the consequences that that is going to have on the future of our country. Public Health Minister Beth Mugo is in the United States for the UN summit, sent a statement supporting Mutula. Mugo said that the new constitution now means that Kenya can competently handle the said post-election violence cases. A Cinevet poll released this week shows that more than half the number of Kenyans, about 54%, would like to see post-election violence suspects tried at The Hague rather than locally. Abdi Osman, Citizen Live at 9.